Hey team, hello. Welcome to another team training. Today we have an awesome guest speaker, Lisa Ward with us. Hi, Lisa. Hey, everybody. We're so happy to have you. Lisa oh, I'm is excited to be here. One of Lisa's one of the awesome Canadian stylists on our team, right? And she um, and we actually were having like a Zoom call with the Canadians and with corporate because they are trying to um, help the Canadians more on their, you know, with their goals and with their, the things they need help with. And um, while she was on there, she was talking about, she mentioned in the chat that she had a party and she was like, I sold over $700 at this party. It was like a $1,400 party, right? Mm -hmm. And then she was like, and half of it I sold was makeup. And I was like, what now? What now? <laughs> like, <laughs> hold up, girl. Like, we need to know. We need to learn from you. We need to know all the things. Um, that's a whole lot of makeup. And I mean, that's a that's an amazing party, first of all. And second of all, <laughs> the fact that half of it was makeup was like mind blowing. And I think many of us want to know you know, how to sell makeup better. And I know there's, there are people watching that are, have some in-person parties this month that are like, okay, tell me how to do this. Um, so, so Lisa, before we dive in, will you just tell us a little bit about your color street journey? Sure. I'd love to. Um, I've actually been with color street since it was like September 30th at 11 o'clock at night. I mean, it's funny how I remember that, but it's like, ah, let's just go for this. So not quite two years yet, um, but I've been with this industry for, it'll be eight years in June. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's not unfamiliar to me. And I've been involved with the beauty industry, so it helps. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, with my color street journey, like I had a chance to try on, I, my nails are not lovely, but um Tokyo lights. Tokyo I mean, lights. I haven't worn this since the like, I joined. And I'm like, why have I waited so long to wear it again? Right. And I remember a friend had shown this on Facebook and I saw this and I messaged her. I said, Renee, where did like where did you get those nails? And she said, Well, it's color street. I said, What is that? It wasn't even uh -huh. in Canada yet. So okay. she hooked me up with somebody who was a rep at the time. I mean, this was almost a year before it came to Canada. Okay. I got hooked on these things. I was paying duty. I was paying exchange. Like everything in Canada costs so much more. Like it's, it's sad, right? And then when I found out it came to Canada, I mean, I guess I was a little bit late to the game because it came in August. I joined the end of September and I'm like, I have to do this. Yeah. I just love stuff. And I mean, I have thin nails that will peel. They're not really great. But when I wear this stuff, I mean, my nails are stronger. I use the nail strength that I was hooked. So that kind of is what, you know, that's a brief story about how I got into Color Street. I love it. I know, like every time I put the nails on, I'm like, <laughs> I'm obsessed with my nails. Like, I can I just show you all my nails right now? This oh, is yes. a subscription, oh, that's a subscription. box. Yeah. And I cannot get over them. Like, I keep staring at my nails and I'm like, these are amazing. Like, I cannot deal with how cute my nails look right now um well, just, I was gonna do that last night so we would have been matchy <laughs> yeah I mean it just blows my mind every time so we get it we get why you had to to join and and represent um so tell us a little bit about like this party like I want to know the backstory of this party like who how you got the hostess how you did the invites all that Okay, well, my background is I'm a choral music specialist, so I taught high school choir for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the, the person that held this nail bar is actually a former student. Now I'm talking, she's many years older now, like in her 40s, um, yeah. well established, living here in Calgary, you know, doing her thing. And she has fallen in love with the nails. I've tried to, to in, you know, like, Air, you really need to do this with me. No, nope, no, I just want to support you. So that may always be the case. Um, mm -hmm. But when she found out about this incentive trip to Jamaica, which um, she said to me, she said, I really want to support you. She said, I know you're looking for people. She said, why don't we have a nail bar? And I'm like, well, okay, you're approaching me. I'm in, I'm in, let's do this. Yeah. Um, and then she decided we should do it in person. And I'm living in a city right now. I'm actually in Calgary. I'm not from Calgary. My husband's undergoing treatments right now and she lives in Calgary. So we thought, oh, this would tie together beautifully. 
which mm -hmm. it didn't because of course things are always delayed in the medical system and we did anyway we came up that Sunday and we decided to do an in-person nail bar so that's mm -hmm. kind of how this got rolling and she messaged her guests what well, I made a little note here how soon yeah 10 days before the event she okay. sent out an email and she cc'd me on the email she explained a little bit about it it would be three hours here's what was happening there'd be fun games she says but not the annoying kind um <laughs> set it up for her friends and it ended up that there were 11 people that um said they could come and 10 of them made it one of them i think his husband tore his acl or something like that okay so yeah there were 10 guests but there was 11 people that ended up ordering in total okay so wait what did she call it i'm always so curious okay. like what what she called her party yeah, and that was that was so great because she was totally into this she said i want to call this wine women and nail social nice. so that's what okay. we called it the wine women and nail social and she had yeah. you know those big huge tubs that you can see in restaurants where they put wine bottles or they can have yeah. wine those big they almost they look like wash tubs so she has this gorgeous tub i guess she had auctioned won this in a silent auction she had wines in there she had pop she had whatever a cheese mm -hmm. and food spread like when people came in it was instantly hey go grab a drink grab something to eat let's socialize i had my ipad running and i had pictures of nails different manicures that i had like i worked till four in the morning the night Brilliant. before getting this ready oh. and then they could be looking but this is what life has been like for me right now. And to get ready in time and with my husband stuff, that's when yeah. I have to do it. <laughs> 4 a.m. That's yep. impressive. Yep. So she, I love, I love that, um, you know, I love that name. And then how many people did she invite? She got 11 people to come, but how many people did she invite? You know, I'm not sure, Kelly, how many were actually, I, I, I don't even know if it was sent as BCC or not. Um, so that's a good question. I don't know how many she invited, but I was, I personally was surprised that there were 11 people that had said yes, that they wanted to come to this in-person nail bar. I'd never mm -hmm. been to her house, had no idea um, what the layout would be, but it was a perfect number. She had table, her table, plus another one she joined on set out so everybody could see each other. Um, there was lots of room for me to spread out the stuff I wanted people to have. And yeah. it was you know, I walked into this feeling nervous and a little uncertain. And the minute guests yeah. started to arrive, we started to visit. It changed from nervous to excited. Yeah, I love that. And that's smart that she had two tables connected together. So it was just like this big, like gathering place for people to yeah. sit and connect and do well, their of course nails. We all and met in the kitchen, right? We all stand in the kitchen around this big tub visiting. I mean, we had to formally yeah. say, hey, can you guys come on over? But there was space. So everybody felt comfortable, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I think it's genius, absolutely genius that you had a little kind of slideshow. Is that what it was? Of yes. Manny's on your laptop? Yep. Well, I just took um, all the pictures that I've saved and then I've gone in and I hunted the nut. Okay, let's make sure we have glitter solids, all of these things on there. And I just usually um, literally use the photos feature from my phone or from my iPad and just mm -hmm. put it on slideshow. So it would just occur. And I mean, if something showed up, they're like, oh, I like that. What was that? Then it would go on to something else. So it piqued their interest to keep watching. So that yeah. was kind uh -huh. of fun way just to get them going, right? <clears throat> yeah it's just that's so like inspiring you know women love pinterest and that's what that's what it was it's like a big slideshow yeah. of the potential of their nails right okay so tell us um how did you first of all how did you display your nails and then how did you display the makeup well this might shock everybody um but when i came like i have two of those they're big they're not rubbermaid tubs but they're just big tubs of mm -hmm. nails so i brought that with me so if people wanted to look through it they could and i thought if they end up wanting to buy something i have i would just make sure we'd order that from the hostess link so that she got you know the the rewards for that um mm -hmm. and i didn't end up sending l selling any from that they did at the end have a look through it but the nail tubs were set over on a shelf on the side mm -hmm. and what i did is i'd set the makeup up i opened up the lids um, on a table it's kind of like a buffet table. I don't know what else you would call it. Yeah. That was in behind where we were sitting. And it was just yeah. sitting there. It wasn't even part of the display on the table. Like when we invited the guests over, what was really fascinating, Kelly, is this woman 
was incredibly supportive. I mean, normally at these things, we do giveaways, right? Um, I had envelopes for everybody. I can tell you about that too. And I, you know, we'd put little prizes or stuff inside. Well, she stated right at the beginning of this that she had a nail set for everybody to take home. So she laid out 12 nail sets on the table. So there were 10 guests. They could pick the ones they wow. wanted. I mm -hmm. mean, she's got a stash. Like, I'm not surprised that she's got all these nails. It just, yeah. so I didn't have to supply all that. And when I was there, so well, we'll do some prices. Oh, she said, I have four prizes that I've set aside. She had a cuticle oil. She had a nail strengthener, a pair of socks that had like wine glasses on them. Okay. And what was the fourth one? I can't remember, but there were four prizes that we incorporated into this. So okay. she put a lot of skin into the game, if you like, which is not normally like that's not normally the way it is, yeah. but she really wanted to treat her guests well. I mean, some were yeah. friends, some were colleagues from work. Um, yeah. So that was all set out. And then I introduced the makeup as we went through the event. Okay. Well, and before you jump into that, I think one thing to note is that it, even if your hostess doesn't you know, provide giveaways or for free nail set. That is something that you could consider, you know, doing yourself um, as a hostess, right? Is like, right. I mean, as a stylist is, you know, doing the giveaways. That's such a fun Absolutely. idea. And like, and then even, you know, if you have extra sets, if you, if it's in your budget, offering the free set. Um, yes. And yeah. that's what I would normally do. So this wasn't normal. That's why I wanted to, you know, like let everybody know that this is not the norm. It's usually that I provide, you know, a free set. And I, of course, always give the hostess some good days for, for, you know, putting on this event. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there were, I was really quite surprised. And she donated $5 for every person that ordered was going to an animal rescue. So there was 11 orders. So she paid $55 into this animal rescue as a donation as well. Wow. That's yeah. cool. That made it even more. Did, so um, wait, what was the price point that they had to, to buy in order to? There was no price point. Anybody that ordered for every order that was placed. Okay. She any order. Five, yeah. Any order. doesn't matter how much. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that she had like kind of kind of also made it like a a charitable yeah. thing. Um question for you, Lisa. Did did they know that you were trying to earn a trip to Jamaica? Well, that's a really good question because I'd already earned it. Like I messaged her I, and then I had earned it before this event ever happened, um, okay. which I didn't know. Like when this was first set up, I had no idea like if I would earn this or not. It, it was like, mm -hmm. so I said, just so you know, her name was Erin. Um, like I have earned this. So please don't feel the pressure. And she's like, no, 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 let's do this. I really want to support your business. Mm -hmm. Um so at this event, I told the, the ladies when we got discussing, when we got onto the, um, you know, some of the benefits of Color Street and said, one of the things is you can earn incentive trips. And I was quite thrilled to share with them. They all seemed so excited for me, right? It was like people I'd never yeah. met. Yet you felt a genuine like, wow, that is so cool. And it, it really did set a, a tone of excitement rather than nerves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like women love to like support other women and this is giving them the opportunity to do so. Um, so yeah, I love it. How, okay. So let's get to the makeup part. How did you kind of bring that into the, the conversation or the party? So, you know, what I did, like, um, I, I combined ideas from different people. So like, there's that envelope nail bar, I used some of that. A friend of mine had a couple of really great game ideas. So I thought, oh, I like that. So I, this is an amalgamation, I don't claim any originality in this, but it becomes our own, right? Because we tweak yeah. it, we change it. So, you know, everybody was given, um, like, there was an envelope. Now, this isn't colored, but it was an envelope like this and there was some stuff in it but as we went we kind of added to the envelope so if something came along and like at that time because it was four in the morning my husband was sleeping I couldn't print off some of the graphics I needed we had to leave the next morning so what yeah. I ended up doing for some of this is I actually used cue cards so I'm just saying you guys you know what do it even if it's not fancy it doesn't have to be fancy like you know what is color street so if somebody had this in their envelope they would read mm -hmm. this out and you notice there's a little sticker on this well my hostess wanted to give away gifts so there were three of these that had stickers and if they happened to open up their envelope they were all laid out they could grab an envelope and if it had a sticker on it then they won a prize they put their hand in they put ah, a prize. that's very like uh 
Oprah, like, look under your chair. <laughs> That's like, it. I wanted to the envelope. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than going to something you feel, am I being sold to? Are you just kind of sitting there? It's like, oh, no, yeah. I want I want people engaged. I want them being actively, a, you know, a part of what's going on. So they'd mm -hmm. have different things happening. And when it came, like, to the makeup part, <clears throat> like, there's all this stuff. I can show you this later. But what did I have here? So what I did is my big thing for me is that it was all about the bombs. I, I, I talked about all of the makeup, but I mean, I just said to them, and so I took off my glasses because I don't see well without them. And I mean, mm -hmm. it's not great lighting here, but I said, okay, I have on the bombs and I got to tell you why they are the bomb.com. And I talked <laughs> about them. I showed them. I mean, nothing special, right? It yeah. just it was just my own makeup, but it was my own passion and my own interest in it. I think that was a big part. So I opened them up when I talked in that section and I just showed it to them. I, I passed it around. I had sponges there if anybody wanted to try on anything. And mm -hmm. here's what's really remarkable. Nobody actually tried any of the pro like they, they would take a little bit and they'd rub it on their arm to see, but nobody actually put it on their face. Okay. And I mean, I, I can tell you, I wrote this down so that I could give you the actual numbers. <clears throat> Okay, so this was a, a $1,481 um, party, and 55% of it was makeup. So $812.25 was cheeks and lips. $97 was nail and hand care. And then $572 was nail set. So there was 39 nail sets. Wow. So, I mean, I literally passed it around, let them see it. And I think what like the hostess and I talked about this afterwards and think part of the reason it was so successful with that is they didn't feel pressured. Mm -hmm. um, I was wearing it. I just loved it. And I think they really trusted her. Like she's been wearing the nails. She is the solid queen. Like I admire her solid application skills. Like it's, it's crazy how good she is at it. Right. Uh -huh. So I think they kind of already had that trust factor that, oh, yeah. she likes this stuff. She wouldn't be hosting this party, sorry, if um, she didn't believe in the product. And that uh -huh. was it. So, like, yeah. I mean, of the makeup that I sold, um, okay, what is it here? 10 of them were the bombs. Okay. And one was a powder blush. And the bomb is what I focused on. And guess what? 10 of them. 10 of them is what it was sold. Wow. Lip primer, I was wearing lip primer, right? I love the lip primer. I mean, I'm older and it helps to fill in some fine lines and wrinkles. So when I talked to them about it, we sold seven lip primers. Wow. <laughs> and okay, wait, 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 wait. We, we need to know what you said about the bulbs <laughs> and the primer. <laughs> what did I say? Well, I mean, I mean, they give us the list of things that, you know, we're allowed to say things about the product. But uh -huh. I mean, for me with the bombs, because unless you have oily skin, if you have aging skin, if you're a teenager, oh, I talked about that too, because it was both young, there was every age range there. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. And I just said with this, because it's so, um, the word wasn't moisturizing, but I said luminizing almost for your skin that it yeah. won't dry out. Like I just showed them. And I mean, I went up close so people could see, cause I mean, I'm not, I have no issues with that. And yeah. I, I, especially with the lip primer, I just said to them, you got to let it sit on your lips for a little bit. But I said quite often, and I showed them, I would put on the lip primer a couple minutes later. What I do is I use the lip pencil, shape my lips, and then I fill in my lips and then I'll put on some lip balm just on a regular day, go out the door. And that's what I do. And said, for those of you that are in a rush. So I did sell, you know, some of the, the, the lip liners as well that I was wearing. But it's funny how the things that sold were the colors that I was wearing. I just, yes. You know, you're, you're being a product of the product. Yes. I mean, well, and they look good on every skin yeah. Type. yeah, yeah, it does. it does. I'm wearing the, I'm wearing the cheek and the balm and the highlighter balm. And I'm like obsessed with all of it. Yes, um, but yeah, so like good. talking about showing. So did you like apply it on your face at all? You know what, for the, like what I did with them on one side is I just said, like, I already have this on, but I did, I took the, the bronzer and I said, you know, yes, you can bronze, but I said, I really love it for contour. So I just took it off and I dabbed it and showed them how to apply it upwards and they could see. You know, yeah. like, oh, wow, that does give you some chisel because I have a wider face and I talk about thinning out my nose. So mm -hmm. things about myself that, you know, here's things that I like to do that make me feel better about how I look. So I would yeah. show them how I would try to thin this out. I mean, they were just watching with great interest. And, you know, what's funny is I sold some of the diamond dusted lipsticks, which I thought, OK, nobody 
I don't know why I thought people wouldn't want them, but I pulled out yeah. this too, rolled it up. And I said, have a look at this. Well, it was an instant. Wow. So I passed it around the room and then they really wanted to see this. One of the gals said to me after the presentation was over, so would you put it on? So I took off my lipstick and I put this on and it wasn't a color that I would normally wear because I had all of yeah. them. And yeah. again, we sold, how many of those did we sell? Two of those, two of the Noel and then the Charmer, which is what I have on right now, that really mm -hmm. soft everyday color. So yeah. it, was, it was applying it. I was like, sure, I'll put it on, no problem. Yeah. And I made it possible for them if they wanted to, because I had the lip brushes, I had the sponges, but they didn't actually want to apply it. Okay. I, you know what I think? I feel like you've like hit something that is really important to to note and that is you talked about some products that I don't think are as well known and popular is like lip primer I don't think that's kind of a, an everyday thing and like the the highlighter you know the balms I don't think that that's become like super mainstream yet and in then even the diamond dusted these are all kind of like unique pieces to our makeup line you know that I don't I still don't think people have you know some people have but a lot of people have not you know put it into their everyday look right and you were showing them how to do it how simple it is um and why it's effective why you love it why it works for you I think that's really powerful well, I, I agree with you because I thought, I mean, we go into the store and we can look at a powder blush, we can look at a powder bronze, or even highlighter, but to mm -hmm. see these bombs, because um, I had tried them as soon as they came out and mm -hmm. the effect it had on my skin and how easy they are to wear, how you could layer it, um, how teens can have a very subtle look. Um, it just seemed to grab their interest. And I think sometimes we do need to go outside of the box. And I thought they can see the others and I didn't discount them because I told them I like them. In fact, Hustler, I wouldn't wear that on my skin normally. I can wear Hustler from this line because yeah. of the shade of it. Mm -hmm. So I talked about that a little bit too, that you know sometimes you really do have to try because it might look different than you think. And I, I fully expected this to be a mostly nail party because Erin was the nail queen. She wears a little bit of makeup, not much. But when this turned out to be all this makeup, I was like, whoa, there's something whoa. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you have any makeup in stock or was it just your own personal? Yeah, use? it was just my own personal stuff that was there. And again, like I said, you know, if they wanted to try, like there was a sponge so that they could. So yeah. we were putting our fingers like, mm -hmm. you know, you want to keep things very sanitary there. And yeah. You know, it could have gotten crazy. I even had brought along a makeup mirror. Um, I had a lighted mirror that that runs on batteries and it's really great for lighting because I thought depending on her mm. house. So one yeah. lady really wanted to use that mirror and well, she had like her face up and oh my gosh, it's almost identical to that. Is yes. It, yeah. I, I think on the side. Yeah, it's from Winners of so Home Sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're yep. great. And I mean at the end, oh, I hope our Wi-Fi is not freezing. Am I still there? You're good. You're good. Keep talking. Okay. So what like Erin offered at the end, she wanted to demonstrate, she left her nails bare how to do a solid set of nails. And she invited everybody, if you, they wanted to pick their packet, they could do it with her and she'd show them what they did. And then I would walk around so I could help and talk to people. There only ended up being one woman that wanted to try a set with her, but they were watching quite interestedly with all of that was going on. So then yeah. it freed up the time. <clears throat> Instead of me applying it, I wore some nail polish. She put on a set and then I just walked around and was just there just to have conversation or to help them if they wanted to order. Like there's so many different things I added into this. Like I made sure they all had her, her code. So I took her website link and I put it in a QR code. So one of the envelopes that went around, there were 11 mm -hmm. guests. Pardon me for a sec. <clears throat> so Brilliant. I would have 11 envelopes <clears throat> and everybody would get an envelope. And they'd have something to talk about or share, be it solids, glitters, like I have it all broken down. But one mm -hmm. of them was her QR code. Cause I thought if people leave, I wanted to make sure that they could order from her site easily. And I said, just scan this on your phone. You've got her link, away you go. But I mean, I would say over half the orders, three quarters were placed from the party. Then the rest were placed at home that night. One gal ordered two days later. And the hostess, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, she just couldn't get over how much stuff she got from this party. Wow. I bet she was like, whoa, yeah, that's like a, that's the, that's a great party for you. And for the hostess, she probably got so many rewards from it. Yeah. Um, 
Yes. So brilliant that you made a QR code. That's genius, like specific to that party. That way they can just scan, order, and it feels like less pressure. That is, I think that's a big, yeah, a big factor to your success. I started off the event with a game. And it's a game where like it was a gift bag that I brought. This was one that I had. And they would pass it from one person to the next based on whatever the instructions were. And then eventually somebody ends up with this gift bag. That seemed to be a great opener. I'd never done that before. It went really, really well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I ended with a game as well. And I have to say, I learned something from that game because like what they were supposed to do at the end is, what was it called here? I'm trying to remember what I called this. Uh, oh, yeah. So they had to, it was just a phone call away. Have you ever played that game? No. So it was really fun at the end. So what I had them do is they all had to take out their phone and they all had to put my phone number. So they, and one woman said, well, is this in phone or is this in text? Well, I said in phone. So then what they do is they all entered. And when I said, go, they press the button and whoever, when I answered the phone was on there, that's the person who won the last prize of the day. Oh. Now in retrospect, if I had done this as a text, just think of all the text messages I would have had and all their numbers, right? Oh. And the one that would have gone through first would have won the prize. So yes. I learned from that, but you know, like Smart. all of these ladies, thankfully, when they ordered except one, all put in their phone number and their email in their orders. So uh -huh. I have since been able to text them and connect with them. But like really in hindsight, if you guys do that game, it's so mm. great. You're excited to see who's going to win. But if you do that as a text message, you'll have it in, their, in your phone. But what I asked That's them to genius. do is I said, would you guys save my number in your phone and just call it Lisa's Color Street so that whenever you're interested and you need some more, it's so easy to find me in your phone. So I think it yeah. took off the pressure of like, oh, bye, bye. Here's my number. If you want to contact me, I'm here for you. Mm. Brilliant. And yeah, I love the idea of making it a text game instead of the phone call game. Um, yeah. That's very smart. Then you can do lots of follow-ups with them or just thank them right. for coming to the party. So did you book any other parties from that party? I'm curious. Well, there was one person who indicated that they, they, you know, they don't ever want to say yes. She wrote maybe on her form. So I've been following up with them because it's been about a month now. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, following, did you get your order, et cetera, et cetera. And she's the one, <clears throat> this is really funny, but she had just gotten married the day before and was at this event. I was like, oh my gosh, we have a new what? bride. And it ended up that she won the first prize. So I was like, yay, that was exciting. Oh, she's the one that was interested, but she had done, what is it called? Powder dip. And her nails were growing out with this powder dip. So she hadn't tried it yet. So as of yesterday, she just tried her nails. She did that. Mm -hmm. Um, that cream one that has, a, oh, I can't think of the name. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but they look great, really, really good. So I now, as of this morning, she posted in my VIP and she shared it. So now I'm going mm -hmm. to approach her and see about doing this. So I don't know if I have a booking from this yet or not, but like that would be the first one from that event. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I love that you're following up though. You know, you've got it. You're following up with all these people checking in to see how they like their, their order. You know, if they got their order Yes. If she likes her nails, all of that. I think that's how it starts, right? Yes. Well, it's so new in Canada. There wasn't one person at this party besides the hostess who had tried Color Street. So, I mean, I was walking in a room full of newbies, which is quite often the case, even on the online um, nail bars that I've done. It's yeah. so new here and there's just so much opportunity yet. So I'm, yeah. I don't want to lose these people by letting that fall through the cracks, especially with the interest that they showed. Like, I thought this isn't just a case of them buying because they want to support the hostess. I mean, some of them spent a fair bit of money. Um, yeah. They seem genuinely interested. And you know what I think the biggest thing was? A, the hostess was amazing engaged yes. and B we wanted to be together I hadn't done an in-person event like this since before COVID I wasn't mm -hmm. even with Color Street when COVID started right um and all the like the events that I had done were in person I hadn't done any online so all of a sudden during COVID all of these nail bars were online and I just I wasn't sure how I felt about it and the minute we walked in it's like everybody was it's like long lost friends that I had only just met they were yeah. happy to connect. They were interested. They chatted. Like we had to kind of get people out the door at the end because it was time <laughs> to wrap it up, you know? So yes. I really, I think right now I would encourage people, if you can get in person, 
Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to be 10 people. It could be five people. But I think people are longing for connection. You know, I know I am. And yeah. it really made a difference to be in person. And uh, like to have a 1400 PV first time out nail bar social in person. I'm like, how do I, where do I go from there? So you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not but now, you know, it's possible. Like, you know, That's what's it. possible, and you can, you know, continue to work towards duplicating that. Um, and, and you, and you learned a lot from this. And I think it's so important. I love that you said, you know, people are longing for a connection. They're longing for that, like in personness, you know, yes, and, uh, and so I do think I, I recently had a party. Um, it was a, a spray tan and Manny's party and it was really fun. Um, wish I had seen this training before it, but <laughs> But yeah, I just think it's like, it's fun for them and it's fun for you. You know, it's fun to like see, it's fun to watch people, you know, lose their minds when they try the nails on for the first time and absolutely all that. It's so it's, it's a fun thing. And another thing I want to touch on is that I think it's important to, you know, even if you're in the, in the U S there's so many people who have not heard about color street. Like maybe your close friends and family. Yes. They've heard about it because you've been doing this for a minute. Right. But, um, there's just so many people that haven't, like, I'm pretty sure they put out a statistic that said only 35% of the people they surveyed had heard of color street. So we got a whole, that's like, we, st there's still two thirds of absolutely the U S and probably even bigger in Canada that have not heard of color street so we got some work to do and yes. we and can do it in fun ways interested. like this <clears throat> sorry what and there's people who are interested they just don't know about it yep totally yeah and i think part of it is if we don't overwhelm them with information like you know i sent home a little picture in each envelope they get of the subscription box and how it works i mentioned it we talked about it in closing, but to give so much information, it's too much. So once they try the product, if they go back and they look at that subscription box and oh, you know, that might be interesting. So I was just trying to plant some nuggets along the way. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. TV to be continued, right? That's it. Um, well, thank you. This was really, really inspiring. So is there any other tips or any last minute thoughts you have before we wrap it up? Um, you know what, first of all, I would say is, is do it um, if you can. I mean, yes, in this case that she had approached me, but I had been asking people and I've been commenting my VIP about doing nail bars, about the, you know, get together in person online. Um, and I would really, I think right now is the time we need to reconnect. And I think this whole idea of social selling has taken on a whole different perspective since COVID and since people have been inundated with nail bars and I think they just want to know that you care about them that you're going to be there for them with follow-up um, and mm -hmm. I think that makes a huge difference right now because yeah they know if you have a color street they know that you're selling something but what are you actually providing for them and that's the thing that I'm trying to carry through the most with this in my follow-up is just that I'm here do you have questions is it how's it working for you just taking an interest Mm -hmm. um, and then preparing, right? Like, I mean, I prepared, I have notes, I have things so that that's my teacher brain, because that's what I do. That's what I did for many years of my life was teach. But then uh -huh. the notes were just kind of there. I didn't use them a lot because the envelopes were my cue of what I was going to yeah. talk about, right? So I just, you know, put it out there, set up a format for you that you feel comfortable with. Don't be afraid to take different ideas from different people because that's what has worked for me. And I change it as I go, like already I've made changes to this based on mm -hmm. what happened. And, oh, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have texted instead of called, like things like that. Yeah. But I mean, it's just growth. It's room to, to improve and to build on. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. there'll be some new stylists too down the road with this, we'll see. Right, yeah. Well, awesome, Lisa. Um, this has been really inspiring, really enlightening. I hope this helps those of you that are, I know there's some people watching that have parties like literally this weekend. I hope this helps you. I hope your parties go amazing. And I want to challenge those of you that haven't, don't have an in-person party, haven't done one in a while. I want to challenge and double dare you to do one and to mention the makeup, like bring the makeup, show them yes. your favorite parts of it. I mean, I'm always like, I love hearing what people's favorite 
Teller Street makeup or product is because I'm like, oh, you know, just even you telling me some of your favorites, I'm like, oh, I hadn't thought of using it in that way. Or like, you know, it just kind of gives people a different perspective. And when you share why you love it, that changes, you know, that really like is yes. very powerful. So Anyway, thanks, Lisa, for sharing all of your tips and your excitement and passion with us. And thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.